Hi there. Plastic carrier bags or paper carrier bags? Which would you choose for your GCSE? Roll that graphic. Hi there, I'm Paul, this is Science That Sticks, and I'm gonna go through life cycle assessment. And that's the LCAs. Now, this business is not that difficult to understand because a life cycle assessment is used to assess the environmental impact of a product over its whole lifetime. And it's a way of comparing several alternative products like a paper bag and a carrier bag and see which one causes the least damage to the environment. To carry out LCA, scientists measure the impact of extracting the raw materials, processing them, the manufacture of the product, manufacturing the product, how the product is used, transported, and then disposed of at the end of its life. Some aspects of the LCA are quite easy to quantify, like the amount of energy, but some are very difficult, such as how are you going to be uh, disposing of it, what sort of pollutants might they give off. So let's have a look at the two things that we could be asked about when it comes to the life cycle assessment of a paper bag and a plastic carrier bag. Now, it's not that difficult to really look at the two of these because whilst they do the same job, they obviously are made of different materials. This is made largely from crude oil products. Okay, it's a polymer, we'll discuss polymerization and polymers another time, and is a synthetic made creation. It comes from crude oil. Now, the downside of these plastic things is that they stay in the environment for a very long time, but we have multiple uses, and it doesn't matter if they get wet because they actually hold quite a lot of weight. In fact, in one of my lessons last year, we had, I think it was 52 kilograms of stuff in here, before the handle stretched. So that was pretty good. Then of course we did the same thing using a plastic, uh, not a plastic bag, using a paper bag. Now we put the same amount of uh, masses in it. We didn't use shopping, we just kept adding kilograms. And I think this one got up to about 49, maybe 53. It basically hold the same amount of stuff. Now, this gets wet, it gets weak. Because it gets weak, there's no use for it, and then you throw it away, but it's biodegradable. This means that you it will decay much faster in the environment than this will. But there's only limited uses. Maybe a couple of times you'll use this, and then it'll get weak, it'll get torn, it'll get wet, and then it's no good. But this one will last a lot longer. But again, the downside of this is that it's going to be in the environment. Then what can we do afterwards? Well, there's very little we can do to recycle it, so it's likely going to go to a landfill. This could go to an incinerator or even be recycled with, uh, with other cardboard and paper. Now, both instances of disposal will require energy. They'll still require a rubbish man to come and collect them. And not only will that happen, that requires energy to get them to work. That requires energy to get them on the shift around your neighborhood, uh, pick it up, take it to the relevant depots, and then it be dealt with and processed. It normally, it's not even processed at the site where uh, the bin men and women and the rubbish collectors, refuse collectors, that's the phrase I'm looking for, the refuse collectors actually uh, dispose of the waste that we've given them, whether it be recycling or household waste or whatever. So we've got some serious, serious thinking. Now, why the hell is this in the GCSE? Well, this is in the GCSE because you're actually asked to look at the life cycle assessments. And sometimes you're either asked to compare the two in terms of what you know about the energy required. Sometimes you're asked to evaluate them. Now, there's a big difference, and this is where the command words come in really, really useful, and I'll put a link in below. Yeah. Um, if you are comparing something, you are saying how they are similar, how they are different. But in this case, this is paper two. And when I say paper two, I don't mean it's the second of the paper bags. I mean, it's the second examination. So it's going to be a bit more in depth. There's going to be a lot more writing. There's a good chance it might even be a six mark question. So if you're comparing, you say how they are similar and how they are different. Obviously, they do the same job, but they're made of different materials. The paper bag comes from a sustainable resource, comes from forests, which we can grow more trees, we can plant more trees. However, we are also going to need to plant them and they're going to require time. But crude oil can be taken straight out the ground and it can be processed at any point. We don't need to worry about the growth and development of trees. However, we've got a finite amount of uh, oil. So you might be given that sort of data and asked to compare it, in which case you're saying how it's similar, how it's different. Um, but there, what I've done, I've actually evaluated 
what I've just told you about plastic bags and paper bags. Now, an evaluation is you say what's good about it, you say what's bad about it, and then you make a judgment. Now, if you're going to do that, there's no right or wrong answer for it, as long as you can justify positives for having the carrier bag, which is plastic, and positives for the paper bag, which is obviously made of paper, and then negative parts of both, and then make a, a, a judgment. Now, in my, in my opinion, I think these have a better use over time. And one of the things I advise every single one of my students to do is get yourself one of these and then the first day of school or college, you put it in your bag and you place your folders and stuff inside here and you fold it up, it goes in your bag. Now you might be thinking, well, come on, Paul, why would that be the case? Well, at the moment, we've had a lot of rain in the UK. In fact, we've had loads of rain in the UK. And if you are caught in the rain on your way to school or back from school, your books are going to get soaked. If they're in this, they're not going to get soaked. If you've put them in this, it's going to let the water through. So in my opinion, I think this is good for multiple uses, but not necessarily with shopping. But when I have finished this, it will need to go and be disposed of. Whereas this, I can use it a couple of times, it then has to be disposed of. So there's some good things and some bad things. Both will do the job. Both will carry my books, will carry whatever. But this one will protect it for longer periods of time because it's waterproof, this one won't. But I'm looking at one specific area there. So, that's it. That's all I wrote. Till next time, stay cool. Bye-bye.